the elk at Grandfather Mountain are not the only ones who get excited for the changing of the seasons. Each year, thousands of visitors drive to the mountain to witness for themselves the magnificent spectacle that is the changing of the leaves. And while they're here, they have the opportunity to learn why whole forests change into vibrant shades of orange, yellow, and red. Fall is a really special time here on Grandfather Mountain because uh, we get to get a sneak peek of what it's gonna look like at lower elevations when the fall colors start to change. If you would like to play along with us, feel free to grab an interesting looking leaf and we'll talk a little bit about it. Every year we have fall color rambles during the first couple weeks of October. If the fall colors extend later than that, we often will extend the fall color rambles. Every day we meet at a different place and we look at some of the best colors that we can view up here on the Grandfather Mountain Stewardship Foundation property. We talk a lot about the basics of the science of fall color change during that time too. And does anyone know what the difference between spruce and fir and then like, the trees right here, what are the difference between those? Are deciduous and evergreen? Yep, yeah. So these ones are deciduous, meaning they're gonna drop their leaves in the fall. At higher elevations, the leaves change earlier, and at lower elevations, they change a little bit later. We have see a similar pattern in the spring. The spring seems to creep up from lower elevations up to higher elevation. Then in the fall, it creeps from higher elevation down to lower elevation. It's almost a wave up in the spring and a wave down in the fall. As the days get shorter and the nights get longer, especially around the fall equinox time, the trees get signaled that they need to stop producing chlorophyll, and that chlorophyll starts to get drawn back into the tree uh, to store energy for the winter. It's kind of similar to what the bears do. The bears are fattening up for the winter, and the trees are kind of doing something similar where they're storing nutrients for the winter. We're gonna play a game for you to guess what color do you think these are gonna change? This is an American beach. Yellow. Yellow? Nice one, well done. When the chlorophyll is broken down into nutrients, that reveals the yellows and the orange colors. The yellow is xanthophyll and the oranges are carotenoids. In order to get those bright reds that a lot of people see, anthocyanin, a different chemical, needs to be produced. And in order to produce anthocyanin, you need sunlight and cool nights. The trees are just getting ready for the winter. They're trying to conserve their nutrients, conserve everything, their energy for the winter, yet they're gonna make this anthocyanin, is what the red is called. They make this, this color just for the fall season. In order to have the most vibrant fall colors, you need to have cool nights. You don't want it to be freezing. You do want cool nights in the high 30s and 40s, and you need sunlight during the day in order to produce that red anthocyanin color. The other ingredient that is really necessary is all the way back in the spring, you need to have enough rain and enough sun to have a good growing period in the spring and early summer in order to get those really beautiful fall colors. So people always ask when the peak is. It depends on many factors. Do you guys remember any of the factors that it depends on? You can just shout them out. Rain. 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 Sun. Sun. Elevation. Daylight. Temperature. Elevation, temperature, daylight. Yeah, daylight's the main, the main thing. A current topic of study and interest is what's gonna happen to the fall colors as we're getting fall days that are a little bit warmer and just a general warming trend in the climate. And a lot of the predictions are that we might not have as vibrant of a short period of time for the fall colors, but the prediction is that the fall color peak will be a little bit later and will last a little bit longer. These seed pods will dry out, maybe it's just been too wet this year, but they will dry out and they'll explode the seeds out up to 30 feet in different directions. Wow. The fall color rambles happen every day during the first couple weeks of October. When you come through the gate, just ask the gate where the location will be and if you forget to do that, you can ask anybody here in the park and you just walk up to the uh, Naturalist Program Here sign and join us. The walks are usually very short, uh, well under half a mile and always wheelchair accessible. So just come on, you can stay for as long or as short as you want on all of these walks. It's also a great way to learn something about Grandfather Mountain and the science behind the fall color leaves changing.
Hi, my name is Jesse Pope. I'm the President and Executive Director of the Grandfather Mountain Stewardship Foundation. Thank you for watching this video. Click the subscribe button below. And to learn more about Grandfather Mountain, visit grandfather.com and you can support our mission there to inspire conservation. Thank you.